guys, today is going to be a video kind of following on from and adding to my previous content about SPs. Do type in the letters SP on my channel if you want to see what other videos I have. I think I do get a little more specific with, you know, affirmations you can use and a little bit of different areas of the SP manifestations, if you will. And today's talking about why you will get your SP if you persist what not necessarily what's happening behind the scenes because again that can be very it's very much based on an individual basis i will give you a couple examples but it's going to be more so about why your sp has to respond positively to your affirmations to the manifestation so this will help anyone who's maybe having doubts or you know questioning am i doing the right thing why haven't they reached out and it's going to be more based on romantic examples but remember sp means specific person just any specific person that you're thinking of that you want something with or from. So do thumbs up and subscribe if you like my manifestation content. I think you guys really do. It's helping my channel grow a lot. So thank you so much. If you're a returning viewer and subscriber, it really means a lot to me. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if that's a service you're considering or interested in. I think I offer quite good quite low pricing so do take a look at my Instagram because for now absolutely nothing is changing everything on there is the you know information and services I'm offering right now so it's LOA coaching and the Instagram is linked below with all the details so take a look if you're interested and let's get started so as always I have my list on my phone and today I'm also wearing a little bit of a crazy lip um, it's a bright red I'm, hopefully that's showing up on camera I thought I'd jazz things up a little bit, put a little bit more effort in than my usual like nude lip. So yeah, if I get lipstick on my teeth, just tell me guys, okay? So first point, I'm just gonna go straight into it and let you guys know that manifestation is perfect. The process of manifestation, the literal law, like we don't question gravity, we don't question the laws of physics, the law of assumption, and there's also like law of expectancy, which I haven't really delved into, so I won't speak on that. But like, this is a literal law. You cannot deny it. You cannot literally change the way it works. It's like gravity. And yes, you can affirm that there's no gravity in your reality and maybe some weird things might happen, who knows? But ultimately it's a fact. It's just the way things work. But within that law, everything is possible. So remember that manifestation, the whole process of it is perfect. It's already set out for you. The universe already functions like this. Our world already functions like this. This is just the way things are and it's perfect and amazing. So it's like when you get a, I'm going to use quite a few analogies here to try and maybe give you guys some good real life examples. Like when you're getting a massage, you're not, you know, guiding the masseuse's hand. You're not telling them, okay, can you mas massage my knees a little bit more? Can you make sure you, you know, do this and make sure you apply pressure hit. They know what they're doing. They're experts. You relax. You just pay for the massage, go book it, you know, get ready for it, lie on the table and the rest is done for you perfectly. It's the same way with manifestation. You put in a certain amount of effort for a certain amount of time, you do certain things and then the rest just comes to you and happens perfectly. So that's the first point to remember that you know, your manifestation can't get screwed up. You cannot mess it up. The only thing that will prevent it is if you quit, if you give up on your manifestation, that's literally the only thing that will stop you from getting it. If you just keep going, no matter how crazy or impossible it seems, you will eventually get it. Next point is that, again, relating to how perfect manifestation is, your affirmations will literally start working the moment you start saying them. As soon as you start looping and repeating, and you know, if you set aside a five minute timer three or four times a day for one specific topic, let's say obviously for this, um, the sake of this video, it's SP. You're affirming three, four times a day for five minutes for your SP. It will literally start that day. The moment you start looping them within the first five minutes, you know, timer that you set, something will already start happening. Whether it's you getting a positive visual of your SP in your own mind, them getting, a, you know, daydreaming about you. Um, that's also relating to thought transmission, which is a whole different concept. But something will happen, like something positive or some type of movement. To you, it might not seem positive. It might be you know, your SP texting you something that you really didn't want to hear, but they did reach out to you. And although it doesn't seem like positive movement, all movement counts. And, you know, it will eventually become positive if you persist. But the point is, some there is always movement. 
something that eventually in some way benefits you and your manifestation happens. Even if it's just establishing a point of contact between you and your SP, you know, whether that's an ex-friend, an ex-boyfriend, whoever, you know, that movement is always happening because there's no such thing as no movement, which I picked up from other coaches in the past. And I think even Sammy Ingram herself has talked about this, like every coach probably says it, like there's all, you're gonna get what you want, just persist, put the effort in. It's impossible for you, for manifestation to not work. It works for everyone. It's just a law. It's like with the uh, same with gravity. We don't have to do anything. It just exists. Gravity is there. We, you know, benefit from it. We use it all day long, but you know, we're not physically doing anything to make it happen in our reality, if that makes sense. It's the same thing with manifestation. It will happen if you affirm and persist, it will, you know, your manifestation will be there perfectly in the perfect way at the right time. Now, another point that may have caused you to d have doubt or confusion or not really fully believe in the process of manifestation and wonder if you're doing it wrong is that you haven't seen your 3D movement yet or you haven't had your manifestation come to you in the 3D. I promise you there is so much behind the scenes movement with a person specifically, they're having thoughts and experiences and conversations that align with your desired outcome. Like, let's say it's your ex-partner and you're trying to manifest them back after a bad breakup, which by the way, don't even focus on that. You know, I'm just naming a circumstance that people can relate to, but don't even focus on the breakup. The point is you're getting them back. They are probably having, you know, thoughts and eventually conversations with their closest friends, their group of friends. Even if it's just like a joke um, about your relationship in their WhatsApp group chat, or, you know, if they have an Instagram group chat or something, they'll be like, oh, this reminds me of my ex or, you know, something will come up where they'll start talking about you, thinking about you, someone will mention you, they'll see references to you everywhere. There's always something behind the scenes or most likely they're having a lot of internal thoughts to themselves about, you know, they miss you and, oh, like, I really miss waking up next to you, you know, whatever your name is, I really miss waking up to, next to that person, like, oh, they always made the bed so perfectly, like they just did so many amazing cute little things for me every day. Um, you know, if you lived with your SP, they'll just be reminded of you of things. And you have no idea because it's happening behind the scenes. They're not gonna instantly call or text you and be like, I, do, I was just thinking about you. I was just remembering all our positive memories. Most people would never do that. You would never do that most probably, but eventually it will lead to them being like, right, I need to get in touch with this person. I'm gonna write them a letter. I'm gonna text them. I'm gonna ask our mutual friend to get in touch. Whatever it is, it will lead to 3D movement you getting your manifestation in your actual physical reality and not just them experiencing the movement behind the scenes. But do remember that that is happening. And I've had many experiences where things were happening, you know, people were having realizations and thoughts. And like, I had one experience with a person where I wanted them to reach out to me. And, you know, I was a bit upset that they hadn't reached out about something personal in my life that they knew about. And then we spoke a couple weeks later and they brought it up, they were like, oh my gosh, I was thinking about this thing that you said, you know, a couple weeks before, and you know, it really, it really touched my heart, it really affected me. And you know, they were thinking about it for weeks when I, and they remembered it. I had randomly said something weeks ago, and for those three weeks or whatever it was, they had remembered it and they had thought about it and literally felt so much empathy for me about it. And I had no idea until they told me during our actual conversation. So just have faith and assume and know that there are so many like experiences that they're having that is causing positive movement for you. Next point that really kind of ties into that is to be patient and consistent. Those are the two key things to remember when you're manifesting. Be patient with the results. Just, you know, keep reassuring yourself and knowing that, you know, I trust in the process. I know my manifestation is happening perfectly. It might be slower than I wanted, but time doesn't matter you know, whatever, I'll just keep affirming, keep manifesting, keep thinking about it, and I know it has to come to me. So just be patient, trust in the unfolding, trust that all the steps that need to occur for you to, you to get what you want are literally happening right now. And be consistent, just persist. I know that's something that everyone says, but you need to persist in your affirmations, in your sats, in your scripting, 
you know it's up to you what you feel best doing what you have time to do on you know any given day but yeah usually it's affirmations which i recommend but just loop and loop and loop and repeat every single day start it over again the next day and the next day and the next day even longer if you can until you feel amazing and like it's yours and it's on its way and if not then just keep doing the process until it just shows up in your reality that's usually what people do they just persist and don't give up and then suddenly it shows up in their 3d reality so that's literally all you have to do be patient and persist and be consistent and another point is to remember that your sp does not have free will so they have to conform to everything you're affirming for if you're saying that they are in love with you and they text you all the time it does not matter that you know two weeks ago they said to, they m message you like i never want to see you again you're disgusting you're a horrible human being you know um i never even liked you it doesn't matter if they said that revise it, ignore it, delete it, and focus on the end result, that they love you and they text you all day long. They just can't be apart from you. Focus on that because they have to conform. They do not have the free will to say, mm, I'm having these thoughts about this ex or this person, but I don't want them. I don't want to do it. I'm going to go in a different direction and pick something completely new. They cannot do that. It's up to you and your assumptions that is projecting onto them and how they show up in your reality they have to conform to your assumptions and whatever you focus on dominantly. If you start creating an assumption and teaching your subconscious mind that your SP is in love with you, your SP respects you, you know, let's say it's a friend like, oh, my SP thinks I'm the best friend in the whole world. SP just wants to hang out with me all day long. They have to come to that conclusion and belief for themselves. They have to have those feelings and thoughts because they don't have free will you decide what everyone in your reality shows up as. Final point I wanted to touch on is to remember that it does take time for assumptions to form. I know that there is like, a, I think a scientific fact that states it takes your mind, and I, I think they're talking about conscious mind, it takes you and your mind 21 days to form a habit. So if for 21 days you discipline yourself to go to the gym every day, wake up at 7 a.m. every day, whatever it is, um, it'll take 21 days for that to form into a natural habit and you to just be able to kind of training your body to respond to that and get used to that, if that makes sense. So in the same way, your subconscious mind and your thought process is the same. It does take time to create an assumption because think about how when you were first in your relationship with your SP, things were amazing and perfect. And then down the line, you know, you started having doubts or they said a comment and it just completely triggered you and you spiral down this crazy path. I think most of us have been there, you know, and you start having doubts and you're like, oh my God, why did they say that? And then the next day you're still thinking about it and then more thoughts come up and more experiences and more experiences until suddenly you've broken up. So it does take time, whether positive or negative, for an assumption to form and be reflected in your 3D reality. It can be instant. There is no time frame, there is no rules as to how to manifest, but I'm just saying generally for us to create a new belief and assumption, it does take time. So you could be affirming for a month every single day for your SP and still not believe that they're in love with you, still not believe that you're married. Obviously, you know, your logical, sane mind is not going to be like, oh yeah, I'm married to my SP, of course, 1000%, I believe that, you know, all my legal forms, I'm going to start type writing that I'm married, I'm going to change my last name on my passport. L logically, and in a, you know, from a sane mindset, we're not going to physically go out and do that. But the point is that your subconscious mind is getting used to those assumptions and beliefs. And eventually, you will truly believe that this is like, this is true or this is so possible, this is coming to me right now, like we are gonna be married by the end of the year. Whatever it is you want with your SP, like it does take a bit of time, so be patient with yourself, but you don't need the assumption or belief for it to manifest, it's just something that will take time. But because it takes time, your actual physical manifestation can take a tiny bit longer than you expect. So just be patient, like I said before, and understand that you know your mind is conforming and you're changing it to a very new different type of mindset and different set of beliefs so that will take time in itself so don't you know don't beat yourself up too much if you keep having negative thoughts from the old story it will just take time to dissipate so those are all the points i know i rambled a little bit i kind of wanted to make it more of a motiv motivational rant type of thing where i 
give you guys like a bit of a motivational push and remind you of what really is going on. So hope you guys enjoyed and please just remember that movement is always happening. Your SP has to conform to you, has to conform to all your affirmations and visuals and whatever it may be that you're focusing on. So yeah, keep, please keep that in mind. Leave your comments below if you have any thoughts or questions. I'd love to clarify anything. And yeah, thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.